All right, y'all, we back with another video. We got Lomachenko this time. He back in training camp. He going to fight Kimbosa, I think, in like a month or two. So he's not too far off. Guys, one thing about uh, I always liked about Lomachenko, he got good footwork and good punch placement. Like, Lomachenko don't really miss when he gets, especially when he gets in his rhythm. He don't really miss too many punches, though. That's one thing I always liked about Lomachenko. He's a short, fast guy. I always feel like if you short, and kind of small. He only he fighting the one thirty five. He came up in one twenty six. So he's a small guy, but he's fast and quick. If you're gonna be small, you gotta be fast and quick. He good on his feet, as you can see. Guy Lomachenko got good head movement. I think sometimes he just don't use it. But Lomachenko, as you seen right there, he got good head movement. Sometimes he don't use it in the fight as much as I like him to do. I don't. I think that's because he's getting older though. But Lomachenko, guys, he still he still got a lot left. He's still good. He still got fast hands. He's still fast. That's one thing I can say about Lomachenko. He haven't lost his speed, really. Now, you don't see Lomachenko doing that a lot of fighting in between the ropes, kind of shadow boxing. It helped with your foot placement and knowing where you at and dodging punches. Guys, your head cannot stay on the line as, as a boxer. You just got to have a habit of slipping your head and weaving your head because somebody probably going to throw a punch back. So Lomachenko, he do that a lot. He get on the heavy bag a lot. He don't throw too many bombs on the heavy bag. He kind of work on his footwork. They kind of switch that he loved doing in the fight. Now, guys, he used this bag a lot for uppercuts. And getting used to kind of throwing a lot of combination that end with an uppercut or a right hook or a left hook. But he used that bag a lot. Like I said, on the heavy bag, you'll never see Lomachenko just throwing a lot, a lot of hard shots. He kind of work on his footwork and kind of throwing punches and kind of moving out. So you're going to see Lomachenko do that a lot. He don't shadow box that much. And when he do, he's not going at full speed. He kind of just play around with the shadow boxing. Like I said, now, guys, y'all know my motto when it comes to throwing a lot of hard punches. You don't really have to do hard sparring and throwing a lot of bombs when you're practicing. You know how to throw a hard punch, so I don't think you have to really do that. You're going to see Lomachenko working that, uh, that target head bag a lot. He going to do a lot of this clinching stuff, too, working on clinching and moving out. Like you see right there, Lomachenko do that a lot in fights, guys. Now, Lomachenko got a lot of weird type of workouts that he like doing. He like kind of playing with his foot with it, when it comes to balls with, like, soccer and stuff like that. So you'll see him doing a lot of drills like this for, like, two to three minutes, just working on his foot. It kind of helps with your footwork and stuff like that. You'll see Lomachenko doing a lot of drills like this, like, and they just work on footwork and hand speed, kind of getting used to somebody's hand speed. Like I say, Lomachenko do a lot of weird drills. You'll see him doing stuff like this, just kind of playing with the ball, with the boxing gloves, just for hand speed and just for fun, really. You'll see him doing a lot of this, guys, a lot of juggling and stuff like that. Now, this really helps with your hand speed and eye coordination. As a boxer, you got to have both, and they both got to be really, really fast. So you'll see him doing drills like that, just kind of catching stuff. He do a lot of mental drills when it comes to uh, his hand speed and eye coordination. As you can see, you got to hit that pretty fast with your hand. Your mind got to be sharp. You got to be focused. So you'll see Lomachenko doing a lot of drills like that. Now, Lomachenko do a lot of these multi drills just for fun, but it kind of helps strengthen his leg. So he like doing that. Like I said, he going to do a lot of juggling, guys, that help with his hand and uh, eye coordination. You'll see him do a lot of silly stuff like this, just jumping in the water, <laughs> cold water and stuff like that. But for his calisthenics, he do a lot of push-ups, a lot of stuff with ropes like that. They kind of work your forearm a little bit too. You're going to see Lomachenko do a lot of footwork drill. This kind of his favorite drill. He don't do too much that a lot of people think he do. It kind of drills like this, simple drill. Simple footwork drill that athletes do, football players. So you'll see him doing that a lot. Now, guys, when it comes to fighting, when Lomachenko is on, he is hard to beat. He got a nasty right hook for a southpaw. So, he, especially when his prime guy, Lomachenko, land that right hook on you, you can be out like that guy was. He's so good at switching up his punches, guys, and getting on that angle. And y'all seen in the drills of him working in the clinch and getting close to somebody and moving to their side. And, guys, it works in the fight. Like, you see him just dominating people with his footwork and guys when Lomachenko want to land that left hand he can land it guys and that that's on the hand eye, uh hand eye coordination drills he do it's so easy for Lomachenko to find your head and your chin basically 
he real good at hitting his target, really. And they come with practice and training. Look at it. Look at the combination. Like I said, when Loma Tinker went la- land that left hand, you can't get away from it. He's going to land it. And when he get in the rhythm like that and finish with the right hook, you will be out. So Lomachenko do a good job of setting up his punches. He throw a lot of the combination, guys, so you never really know what he's going to throw. Like I say, guys, we did see him working on the bag with the uppercuts. He using it in the fight, throwing combinations with the uppercut. Guys, a lot of people now don't throw combinations for some reason. Lomachenko got that knockout because he threw a lot of combinations, and that guy just got tired and didn't know, <laughs> didn't know what was coming. Now, Lomachenko going to do a lot of moving. Like I said, Lomachenko got good head movement when he wants to not get hit. Sometimes Lomachenko, I feel like, get lazy sometimes, but he going to do a lot of glove manipulation in the fight, kind of moving your glove out the way. And like I said, guys, when Lomachenko start throwing to the body, that's when you're really in trouble. He a good body puncher. I wish Lomachenko would go more to the body in fights, but once he do, guys, you in, <laughs> you're in big, big, big trouble. He real good at going to the body and switching up the combination. Like I said, guys, with Devin Haney, look at that body shot. Guys, I don't know what y'all think, but guys, y'all, one thing y'all got to realize about boxing is, is politics, too. They know Lomachenko is kind of at the end of his career, but so they didn't really want to get Lomachenko the belt because they know he wasn't going to defend that much and fight that much because he's an older fighter. But you see right here, he piecing Devin Haney up, catching him with the body punches, coming up to the top, coming up with that left hand. Guys, I think he won the fight, but politics, he's an old champion now. So, But hopefully he can get back. He finally can't boast not too long from now. So hoping we can see Lomachenko back in the ring and maybe he can get a rematch for the title at 135, maybe with Tank.